hi again. I haven't picked up my camera in a while because I've been sitting in bed because I got my COVID booster yesterday, which I'm very happy that I got. But oh my goodness gracious, this one hurt like physically and also my body. I tried to get up today and go run an errand and I was driving around and I just felt like I was gonna fall like fall asleep at the steering wheel or like I couldn't keep my eyes open. Anyway, I've been sitting in bed, but I've also kind of had an interesting few days. The last time I vlogged was the day before I got my COVID booster just because I got it kind of in the morning and then yeah. So I've just been editing and I'm uploading something at the moment, which will whenever this goes up will be the video before this. But I've just had a nice few days. It's been relaxing. And I started Euphoria for the first time. I don't know. I am someone who can be so triggered by like really good acting. And even if it's something that I haven't even been through personally, if it's remotely related to myself or anyone in my life or the, the acting is just so good, I like can't handle watching the show. Like, Zendaya is such a talented actor that I I will have a breakdown if I'm watching it for too long. Does that make sense? So I have to watch it in the daytime when it's light out. I can't be sitting with my big TV in the basement watching it at night because I'll just get too overwhelmed and stressed. And I'm not starting the second season. I'm literally talking about the first season. I've never watched it before because I didn't really... I don't think I was, like, ready to watch it. But I am now. I needed a show. And now I'm watching it. And it's good because I am not at a place where like, like I said, it's so emotional that I can't sit down and binge it all at once. At once. I can't sit down and binge it all at once. I have to like space it out. So I'll watch like an episode, maybe two, and then I'll be like, okay, processing. And then I can watch another one later. I really wish this vaccine was not hitting me as hard as it is. Remember my four workouts a week for my new year's resolutions. Yeah, that's not happening this week. What I was going to say was I, yesterday or the day before or something, I drew for the first time in a long time, like two and a half years. And I actually used to go to school, like my, I used to be a product design major. And so I would sketch all the time, like four classes. And I haven't picked up a sketchbook or markers or anything in like two years and I realized that and so I kind of just started doodling around and then before I knew it I drew something I can show it to you I have it right here I drew a little it's kind of chaotic but for not drawing in two years I'm not mad about it it's like a little a little runway model I think I just I think I overdid the jacket a little bit should be a little bit smaller but wider but shorter I didn't quite make her as tall as I wanted to make her, but that's all right, you know? And then I really liked the way I drew the bag on here, actually. So I drew it again. This one is a little bit worse because this one reminds me of, like, the satchel from Tangled. It just looks too floppy. It's supposed to be um, a Prada bag, but it looks a little too floppy. But, hey, I'm, I'm just happy that I have been drawing and then I just did another take on the jacket that I started and didn't really finish so I drew two things I drew a model and a bag and it's been a while but it felt nice I guess that's kind of all I had to say on that <laughs> okay hi um it is the next day uh, I slept in oh my god I feel so much better I don't know what it is but I feel like I got so much rest and I was feeling so productive I got up got all my shipments ready I was shi and like everything's ready and so I'm going to print out my labels my like shipping labels for all my packages which are hold on I'll slow down the car all piled up back there I printed out I was going to print out my shipping labels and of course the printer is like entirely jammed and I freaking can't use it so that's great um so my boyfriend's younger brother is going to print all my forms i mean my forms he's going to print all my labels at his school and also my formal former high school so 
I'm going to the high school to pick up the, the labels because I didn't want to go print them somewhere myself. I don't know. And then I decided to bring Moxie with because he would have been home alone otherwise. And you know, then that I just would have felt bad. So I brought like my scissors, my packing tape, all my packages, going to pick up forms, and then we're going to take them to the post office or a post box if I can find one that's conveniently located. But yeah, we're just taking a little day trip. It's actually gorgeous outside right now. It makes me feel like I should get off my devices and go do something, which I think I will. I think I'm gonna walk. We're gonna go on another walk when we get home. Hope you can see him. How cute is he? I have a pending sneeze that has been here for just kind of loitering and is not coming out and I would love it too. So, oh, oh, we're gonna be backlit. How joyful. Anyway, we're almost to school. I'm gonna go get the papers. And then we'll just do a little chit chat while I park and pack all of my <laughs> things here in the car. Okay, bye bye. I really just need to get one of those little automatic printers for labels, but it just kind of doesn't seem like money I really want to spend right now. Oh. Huh. It's so funny driving to my high school again because I'm now a junior in college and I'm like standing around watching like these people in high school. How cute is that? It's kind of adorable. It really is. I also probably could turn off my car and stop loitering. That's probably a better idea. So now I've got all this excess paper and all my labels. Okay, Jenny, Jenny V. I'm putting your package together right now. Stay with me. Also, I've got that song from Emily in Paris absolutely stuck in my head. The one that's like, Bonsoir, enchanté, your hands on my face. Say you died. I don't know. It's got, I'm, I've got it so stuck in my head. I'm obsessed with that song. What should we do after this? Should we go to Starbucks for being a good boy? Maybe. Or should we not and just go home, be responsible? So this year, I am making an effort to hand package and hand, well, I always hand package it, but hand make my packaging for my business. Because last year I used a lot of poly mailers, which, are really great, they're really versatile, they're cheap, they're really easy to just get sent to you. But it just seems really wasteful to be buying 100 packs of packaging that are gonna not get reused probably ever again, unless I'm selling to another reseller who will probably reuse it. But I, I just, I'm trying to take unnecessarily plastics out of my life. I say that as I'm using literal packing tape. I. For this batch of shipment, I am using paper bags. You can kind of see that this was like, bought something at a store, got a paper bag, and now I'm using it as shipping. Don't look at their address. Um, anyway, I feel very good about this decision. I also like to use poly mailers, which I got from another store. Like if I buy something at Amazon, I will use the padded poly mailer that they give me again because you know seems like a good way to reuse that kind of plastic but when I don't have those to reuse and when I have a lot of paper laying around I can package it like this or like this like newspaper kind of fun and then I obviously reinforce it with tape which is also plastic but until if and when I get one of those other things Oh, oh, if until, if and when I get one of those other thingy dingies that just auto prints them and has like adhesive on the back, tape just has to be the solution. This is my worst nightmare when two get stuck together in one piece of tape. Oh, that's good. It didn't, didn't interrupt the um, barcode. That would be just, that would just be a trap. Why is this one giving me so much trouble? 
here we go again okay last package this is the hefty one this stuff is this thing is three pounds and i didn't really have enough newspaper to reinforce it with enough strength so <laughs> i put like plastic from a plastic bag around the outside sometimes i don't know what to do about bringing moxie places because i want to bring him and i want him to not feel lonely but then he comes in the car and just gets stressed like for why there's no need reason for you to be stressed right now is there are you like is there impending doom danger And now we just have to go to another station. Station. We just have to make another stop where he's gonna freak out when I leave to just literally take 30 seconds to go run these packages to the mailbox. Boom! Six packages complete. Now we're off to the post office. Moxie, it's gonna be okay. No need to freak out. Packages taken care of. They are ready for the blue box. So we are in for the night. It's been a long day. Shipping, driving around, purchasing hair dye because I believe Ray is dyeing their hair. <laughs> and I was gonna show. See, I was just about to come see how you're doing. That's gonna stain your forehead for a while, you know that, right? I put on Vaseline. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it's, blue, it's a big blue blob. <laughs> I know. Um, do it, do it 360. Clovis used this um, hair dye before and they say it looks like more like gray and cold colored okay. than when it actually turns out, so. That's I fine. Hopes. But if it ends up blue, I won't be upset because it looks cool, so. I'm so I want to see your little setup downstairs. Your little setup is actually a mess. Your hair matches the walls of this house. I've got it like a little bit on the sink, but like not a lot, so mm, fine. Nobody else is going to be using this bathroom. This is your bathroom, so. It's not that bad. It smells really bad in here. I apologize about that. No, it's really not. It's not that bad. Oh, it's pretty bad. To yeah. Me. It's not great, but, Outside, you know, hey. Bad. So what's the next, what is the next step? Next step, I wait 25 minutes, uh, call with my friends, and then afterward, I rinse it out and do this whole after hair mask thingy. All right. Glad you have a plan. Adios, viewers. Do you have what's a name that you call your viewers yet? No. Sophia Litas. No, I don't think that I get to do that unless uh. I'm like, you know, I have like a million subscribers. <laughs> right. I don't think you get to have anything like the sun rays. <laughs> the Duncans. The Duncans, is that what they're called? Yeah. The only one I know is Addison because it makes sense. It's half of her name, right? Like, yeah, that one Charlie's actually is kinda... thing is Duncans. They're the Duncans. The Duncans. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> I feel like I'm, a Duncan, I'm a Duncan just for Duncan. Like well then what are the yeah. dunk what are Dunkin' Donuts fans called? Yeah, then? I don't know. Don't the know. the actual trademark Dunkins. <laughs> superiority. <laughs> trademark Duncan superiority, not Charlie Duncan's superiority. Anyway. We got some hair dye at Walgreens. <laughs> so because they wanted to, and you know, we're doing it. I also got a let's see what else did I get. I also got a Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Excited to try that tomorrow. This primer that I've used because my friend has it and it's good. And then a fake Denman brush because I watched a YouTube. Oh, no, sorry. I watched a TikTok where somebody compared a legit Denman brush and a fake one. And they basically came to the conclusion that they're one and the same. So I got a fake one because I actually kind of do have curly hair, but I need to try and bring it out a little bit more sometimes. And I think a Denman brush might help. What do you think, Moxie? Yeah, he agrees. So I have the worst hiccups right now. They're kind of calming down because I, <laughs> I like downed a glass of water. So they're kind of calming down, but I'm watching Euphoria again. I think I'm probably gonna end this video here. Just enjoy the rest of the evening. Watch this episode. Oh God, why is he throwing up? I clearly missed something. Anyway, I'm gonna watch this episode. I, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I like can't watch TV and study or watch TV to just have it on. Cause if it's on, I just, if it's on, I just focus on it and I watch. And if I try and do something else, then I miss what's going on in the show. 
so I'm gonna finish the episode, chill, and then go to bed. Thank you for watching, as always. I appreciate it so, so, so much. And have a lovely rest of your evening, <laughs> or day, or wherever you're watching this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>